So uh, next we go to um, eugenics, which is uh, very horrific. So the Oxford Dictionary explains eugenics as, quote, the study of how to arrange reproduction within a human population to increase uh, the occurrence of heritable, in other words, favorable characteristics regarded as desirable, developed largely by Sir Francis Galton, Darwin's cousin. He coined the term eugenics in 1883, just about, about when Darwin's leaving this world or just after, as a method of improving the human race. Evels of Yale writes in his book, In the Name of Eugenics, Although Darwin himself did not advocate eugenics, his ideas about the role of natural selection in improving species were absorbed by his contemporaries and successors, and particularly Francis Galton, his cousin. He was the most prominent of these followers and he founded the modern eugenics movement. He argued that human beings like animals could be improved through selective reading. So, but this ERO became influential uh, in the development of Nazi eugenic policies. The Nazis thanked the scientists in England and America for enlightening them as to the critical importance of eugenics. Of course, the rise of Nazi eugenics and its link to racial genocide ended the credibility of eugenic movements worldwide, including the US. Eugenics, which was originally advocated by American and European scientists to improve, improve the human gene pool, through selective breeding found a horrific application in Nazi Germany. But the Nazis are applying eugenics from England. Inspired by uh, eugenics, uh, they implemented policies of forced ster sterilization, euthanasia, and ultimately genocide in their quest for a racially pure society. The American eugenics movement inspired the German eugenicists. And, uh, so, and, and they copied American laws, eugenics laws. They actually, the Nazis actually copied them. So we owe much to the foundations laid by earlier eugenic thinkers, particularly those in England, the followers of Darwin and America.